Hi everyone, guess what? It's chicken time. Had a hankering for some chicken. What am I going to make? These are honey garlic chicken thighs. Yummy. We need to get a few things done. This is one onion finely diced and three cloves of garlic nicely minced. We're going to use that for our glaze. There's our chicken thighs. I've got six of them because I had them packed in packs of three. So that's going to be just about enough. I think I had one left over by the time we're done. Let's put them aside. So now we've got a, another bowl. This is one teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of paprika teaspoon of salt and it's only supposed to be a half teaspoon of pepper but I like pepper so how about we sprinkle in a whole teaspoon what the hell okay let's mix all the dry ingredients together so it looks something like that now we're going to take this, put it into a Ziploc bag. Now we're only going to use half, and it might be a little bit of a stretch to get it to work for all six, because I'm going to do three at a time to make sure they get coated. We'll do our best. If you need more spices, just maybe double or ha half again the recipe, and that should give you enough. So there's our half spice. We'll get the chicken in there. And we shake ever so carefully. One, two, and a bit. <laughs> Three. All right, you can see the third one's not quite covered as much as the, the first one there in the middle. We do it a second time. Shake up the other three chicken thighs, and let's get them out and onto the cutting board. One, two, three, and you know, if you wanted to put even more spice on them, go ahead. This actually was lots, but if you want, you can double up the recipe. So there's the other half. We're going to keep that because, you know, this is a half cup of flour, and we're going to mix all that together. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. And we're going to dredge our chicken thighs. So here's our spiced up chicken thighs ready to roll. Into the flour they go. Make sure you try to cover all of it. Top, bottom, and the sides, right? And it doesn't look like much in the way of flour and spices, but there's lots right there. Don't forget, you've already spiced them up a bit. So this is like double duty. Uh, duty. Now you don't want to do this, you want to flour them up just as you're getting ready for the frying pan, which I've already done. Let's get them over. So here's our pan which I actually did before I started flouring. I'm kind of doing this out of order. Tablespoon and maybe a tablespoon and a half oil. All nice and warmed up. And let's get our chicken over. Now they're not all going to fit in the pan at once, so I'm going to have to do this in two lifts. And we're going to let them go for three to four minutes. Just like that. Then we'll flip it. Three to four minutes later, you can see how it's starting to brown up on the bottom. Not super big, but as long as they're cooked, that's our main objective in the end. 
Oh, come on, that little chunk is a little hard to flip. I guess if I really want to put more oil in, but the idea is just to kind of get the outside seared. And that's what we're doing. We'll squeeze the other two pieces in there and let them all cook because we still got a couple more steps to do. And these are now cooked four minutes later. And it's also time to flip over the other chickens. Whoops. <laughs> the pan's getting away from me. I've only got two hands and I need three. So there. The last two pieces of chicken are done, so let's get them off. And they don't have to be 100% cooked. Close is good because they're going in the oven. Here's our baking sheet. Parchment paper on top. And here's our chicken. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Just enough room. Oh, and the little guy. That's the snacking one. Into the oven they're going to go, 375, 10 to 15 minutes, and they should be coming out fantastic. Okay, back to our frying pan. This is two tablespoons of soy sauce. you got to be quick with this too, because see how it's starting to cook. And I wasn't as quick, so I'd take it off the element. Cool it down a bit. two tablespoons of white vinegar. The onions we chopped up earlier. And of course the garlic. And we're going to combine all that around. Now this is my guess at a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. But if you don't like it super spicy, don't, because that was plenty. My daughter was complaining about how spicy it was. I thought it was just right. And last but not least, a quarter cup of honey. My buddy Al's honey, of course. Nothing but the best. I got the local bees making honey for me. Gotta love it. Okay, now we just gotta mix all this together. Bring it to a boil which really isn't that hard to do because it's pretty already boiling. Then turn the, there it is right there, we're going to turn the temperature down to low and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Just to kind of get all that nice flavors together. Mmm. And of course, you're going to want to stir it on occasion, especially till the temperature drops. So you can see it's going to thicken up and that's okay. It's what it's kind of supposed to do. There. That's kind of looking good. And I think our chicken's just about ready to come out of the oven. Kind of worked out good that way. Yeah, you can see here how, how it's getting a little thicker, a little thicker. I would imagine if I kept it for longer, it might even get a little thicker. But we'll take that off the element. Here's our chicken fresh out of the oven-ish. And we're going to put it in a bowl just to make it easier to coat these things. Of course, I've done it before with sauces and that. It's, it's not that hard. It's fairly easy to do it. However, I didn't take into account there was honey in this sauce. So I tried to spread it out over all of them, as you can see, because it's not a ton of it, right? You only got maybe six tablespoons worth of sauce altogether. Maybe a little more, but it wasn't much. And now I got to coat six pieces of uh, chicken. So I started mixing it around like that. 
and that tends to work, but wasn't working the way I wanted to. So I thought, well, I'll just grab my tongs and just kind of mix her up by hand a little bit, trying to be careful I didn't rip apart the cooked chicken thighs, which by this time they are nice and cooked. They're actually really juicy too. That searing at the beginning helps a lot. Now let's get a couple onto the plate. There's one with a little piece that came off. <laughs> and there's the other one. There you go. That's honey garlic chicken thighs. It's a great meal to have. And I hope you'll give it a try. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.